excuse me, Tokido is in the game along with Page. McAdoo been up front as well. They're going to use the big guy on the baseline, Willie Quilly Stein. The home run to Tokido. Oh, Jam City. Lights out. Party's over. Party's over. They can start to celebrate on Franklin Street. Put it in the book, Dan Schumer. Come on, Danny boy. Oh, Danny boy. Aaron Harrison, one possession game. Wow, hanging in there. Did I say it was over? I think you did. Three, uh -oh. three times. I did? Loud. <laughs> well, let me tell you, if they find a way to win this, they deserve to win it. Well, North Carolina has burned Kentucky twice going long. The first time to James Michael McAdoo, this time to J.P. Tokido. And not enough pressure on the ball because Willie Stein, Willie Colley Stein was there to try to guard the inbounds pass. And that's one of the things you got to try to take away is make the long pass. Well, Carolina's going to be careful not trading the two for three as they've been doing. This kid has been absolutely sensational in the second half. He joined McAdoo. He played brilliantly the entire game. The page second half. He was 0 for 5 in the yeah. first half. He's got 21 points in the second half, 23 in the game. Just don't want to foul here. You don't want a foul. And Carolina wins. They're three for three against three big time teams. Louisville, Michigan State, and Kentucky. Some long faces for the young Wildcats. They lose their first true road game of the season. Marcus Page and company defeat Kentucky 82 to 77. For Nick Vitale, Jay Billis, and Janine Edwards, I'm Dan Shulman saying thanks for watching from the sold-out and loud Dean Dome here today. Coming up next, Sports Center here on ESPN of the Heisman.